Hello everyone and welcome to ICT Today. Without doubt, technology is the propellant of the 21st century and virtually every facet of our society is embracing artificial intelligence in solving problems. We have one of the youngest CEOs in tech world who has developed many apps and currently working on a health app to solve many of our health challenges. My name is Abimbola Ilori and you are watching ICT Today. Our guest today is one of the youngest CEO in the tech world. He has a coat of many colors. He has developed several apps, among which are Kagoka and Bridge App. He's a public speaker, he's a programmer, and he's a coder. Join me as I welcome Joshua Abola, CEO of Josh for Tech. Joshua, you're welcome to the program. Hi, I am Joshua Abola. I am a programmer. I love coding, digitally. I, I love finding solutions to problems and solving humanity's problems. So I'm, I'm really grateful and I'm here to share my own ideas and my own thoughts. So coding is basically typing code and into, into a system and brings out something. But programming is deals with anal uh, anal analyzing data. We have data scientists, we have data analysts, we have people that are necessarily pro programmers. There's something that we have to say, it's called programmer or programmer. All programmers are coders, but not all coders are programmers. Programmers deal with spending, they spend lots of money to even do technical writing. Things that come with the steps of programming, not just get on your computer and code. We have coders. But coders are not necessarily problem solvers. They are coders. Program programmers they spend lots of months typing out and figuring out the solution to the problems. They use this, they use design thinking, which produce out the idea, which produce out the idea, and then they put it to code. So all programmers are coders, but not all coders are programmers. Okay, so Kaguka is. It's like an it's like an homeschooling, meaning like when you, when you it's like a educational platform. So um, how I brought up that idea was a few years ago I went to a visually impaired school, and the school was had people that couldn't that they, they had to they had to be reciting out to them, and when, and there was somebody that was just coming out and they'll be typing it fast. That taught me okay, isn't there a better way to educate? You are visually impaired, and that's how I started thinking. And I came up with Kaguka. I was working on a voice assistant app a long time ago. So when I found out, okay, what this, what I can really do during the hackathon, I produced the app. I, I ported my voice assistant app so it could bring out educational content, and that's how I was able to create Kaguka. I spent a few weeks on it, and I sent it to the hackathon, and then thanks to God, I won first place. So now, now we are developing, but developing the app. And that's about the Kaguka. Yes. Then what about the health app, the bridge app? So the bridge app that I was that I'm still working on, when was it was the idea was brought up when my aunt my auntie she passed away due to breast cancer. And that was because of that, that was because of the you know, late diagnosis of diagnosis of the disease a few years ago. It really helped me and I thought, okay, isn't there a way for people to find out, okay, if they have this or to find out, okay, quick remedies to health problems without really going to the doctor and then when they, when they can, so that they can prevent having or getting those diseases. I feel it's, 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 it's a commendation, not a condemnation. I feel it's prophesying to my future that in being a, a, a big tech CEO. So I don't feel any pressure in being called the young CEO. I, I love drawing a lot. Um, I play the piano regularly. I, I started playing the piano when I was six. And it, even, it was even the piano that even brought me to this, this program. And, stuff. and that's what even enabled me to learn how to you know, hold an audience because I was hard to play before audiences. So I love playing the piano a lot. I love drawing. I love playing games. Okay. That, that's I, what you do. You 
program, you code, and uh, you have to explore what you've done. Right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I built that website. I spent, uh, at, we talked with the, the principal of the school, and I spent, I spent like five months developing the website. I was just like trying to explore, okay, with my skill, I have been, I've been learning programming for a few months now. So how can I use this to do, to do something else that will impact people, something that, something that can impact someone? So, so I, I, I went on the project to develop the school. I spent a lot, lot of time in my day, I was, I was having sleep, sometimes I wake up by 3 a.m. The way I, the same way I developed Kabuka and the, and the Big Doctor, I spent a lot of time on it. I could, I could, I, I was just, I was just there. So when I created that program, I sent, we sent it to the school principal to see where she would lie here. She said, okay, wow, this is a nice project. And you might ask, we, we, didn't, we didn't ask to be paid because it was more about the skill, not the, the, the benefit, to the benefit. So, I created the website and she saw it she, she said she was impressed and that's what helped me to even create more and develop my skills because the practice makes perfect. Okay, so that, that first um, practice actually brought so many other offerings, openings to you. That's, that's brilliant. Well, a person that inspired me to even get to this tech space and it's a person that, that I, I always look up to is Bill Gates because I see how somebody can innovate. By the way, Bill Gates was an introvert, and there are a lot of books I read on how how big people are able to succeed. And I, I dream about my own finance company. That's why I read a lot of books on finance. Like there was this there was this, there was this book called Cash Flow Contract. I'm currently reading it. It talks about how people in the other side of the spectrum, how people plan their own retirement, how to how to save and how to build your income. And I, I, I am really, I have a huge interest in finance. I have a huge interest in, in investing. I, I, I dream to be a big investor and when I, in the next 10 years. I also dream to have other tech companies, fintech companies, companies like, I, I dream of having my own bank. I have very big dreams, but hopefully in the future, I'll be able to achieve them. Hmm. That's a big question. So, um, it, when I was going, to, when I wanted to go to secondary school, because of this, my my ICT training, the one of the I was I I I would have to spend with. I I had, had we had to communicate with the school to tell them okay, this is my program, and this this so, so they helped prepare some things forward for me. There was a lot of work to be done since I I always I had to. Even with my tech, I have to make a balance because there's always a balance. There are three sides of the spectrum. There's the left side of the brain, there's the right side of the brain, and we must always use an encompassator. So, apart from learning my my tech skills, which was important, I also had to go through my schools and learn the basic skills I needed. So we have to find a way to balance it. Up. So uh, you you have this um, structured agreement with the school that um, creates room for you to go to school and as well come for the training, ICT training and room for practice. Yes, sir. Good. What I have to say is that, that programming is the future. Uh, right now our economy is, is, is powered by technology. This camera that, that is using to video me, it's technology. Where the satellite that they are using to transfer to transfer information to the server that puts it to the TV is technology. And in the future, the world will be powered more by technology, and technology will be the world skill. So I think it's I, I would advise people to go into technology to so learn how to use it, how to use technology, because in the future we we'll make we have to make we'll make the most use of technology in the future. Naturally, I. People might not think I'm shy, but I am. I, I am a little bit shy. I'm even more shy than most people think I am. When I get on the stage, I start to breathe, breathe heavily. But I always mention that no, never, never, because everybody shyness 
is, is a part of the human system. It helps, it, it helps us control things called panic attacks. The, the move of that, there's, some, there's a chemical in our brains called adrenaline, which powers awesome possum, which powers nervousness, and, and everything that, that, that deals with nervousness. And, and every human is, 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 is basically shy. And so what I, what I do is that I think, I think as all the audiences, as my friends, everybody I'm talking to as my friend, even when coming into this place, I was shy to meet new people that I've never met before. So I always, I was, because I watch a video on, this guy is a wild, it's, it's, it's wild fit. It's like a public speaking program. Um, by by its mind valley talks. So they, this guy is a public speaker. He talks on how to manage your. And he was talking that how to, you know, help yourself from not having that kind of nervousness that comes to you. And one 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 thing I, mean, I, I follow the most is to make sure that you don't let the nervousness show. You go on the stage and you feel everybody that your friend. Be free, and have fun. I would say that. Everybody is a genius. We are all born geniuses and we all have our own skills. I don't think you can, you know, anybody sincerely is a genius like that. Everybody is a genius. And how I, all, it does is, all I did was just to build my skill. And you only should the talent that you have in you. Everybody has a talent, whether it be tech, whether it be drawing, whether it be talking. Everybody has a skill. All you just need to do is to bring out that skill out of you. And that's what my parents did and I'm very grateful. Oh, it's been an awesome time with um, Joshua Abuola, CEO of Josh for Tech. And you heard it all. He has talked about programming, he has talked about coding, he has um, spoken about his um, stage public speaking. And um, I can't but say that we have a genius here. If, we have, if you have anyone or a child that is as brilliant as Joshua, it's better you discover such um, talent on time and empower him. This is ICT Today. That's our offering for today. A quick reminder that you can connect with us on all our social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the bell icon to receive notifications on new updates. You can also watch us live by downloading our mobile app from App Store and Google Play Store. Until next time when I return with another episode. If it is digital, it's part of ICT.